And it was an emotional celebration of life for Rob Hyacin, one of the victims of that Gazette shooting. Yeah, everyone said that he never would have wanted to be the center of a story, never. The people who knew him best say that Rob was in his element telling stories about interesting people. WMAR 2 News' Eddie Kadem shares some of the stories that made Rob special as a father, a husband, and a passionate storyteller. I suppose there is a reason for this. So I will be patient, acquiescent. Rob Hyacin shared a love of poetry with his youngest daughter, Hannah, describing how a hug from Big Rob could make her feel. Even though we were close in size, it was also, it felt like he was pulling up and reaching the best part of me. And I think he did that with all of us. Their career put Kevin Coward's desk next to Hyacin's at the Baltimore Sun for 15 years. Rob's sense of humor made them friends for life. He was a big man who needed to laugh the way he needed oxygen. When he became an editor at the Capital Gazette in 2010, his role shifted to mentoring young reporters, also taking on the role of professor of a news writing class at the University of Maryland, refusing to remember his friend as a victim. Rob was telling these young people at College Park, hey, we need you out there. We need you reporting the facts and we need you telling the truth. His older sister, Judy, says her baby brother was always mom's favorite. He was the favorite. Rob was everyone's favorite. So here we are. I do not feel majestic. Carl Hyacin, a well-known author, he never worked with his brother, admiring his commitment to the craft and eye for the human behind every story. Somebody who uh, was homeless and needed a voice that he was never going to get except in a newspaper column or in, an, in the pages of a newspaper. He was tireless and he would not back down and he would, he would stay with the story, he would stay with the cause. His firstborn Ben reading what he called his most important words, sharing a passage his father wrote for his children to read to his grandchildren someday. I love you. And as you read this, your boy or girl is sleeping or eating, and you are in love too. True love. Just a month ago, Maria was celebrating 33 years with her best friend. He would look at me, and he'd look at those kids, and he'd just go, you're my home. And that's all that matters. His family in news and at home saying goodbye. Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News.